The Biden administration's new student loan repayment plan, called the SAVE plan, offers lenient terms, including no interest accumulation as long as regular payments are made. Monthly payments can be reduced to $0, and any remaining debt can be canceled in as little as 10 years. After the Supreme Court struck down Biden's forgiveness plan, the SAVE plan has gained attention. Republicans argue it exceeds presidential authority, and opponents predict a potential legal challenge. The plan is estimated to cost billions of dollars and has been met with criticism from some who deem it unfair to non-borrowers. Dr. Benjamin Mock, a highly respected orthopedic surgeon at Campbell Clinic Orthopedics in Collierville, Tennessee, was shot and killed by a patient who had been waiting at the clinic for several hours. The targeted attack took place in an exam room, sparing other patients and employees. The gunman fled the scene but was quickly apprehended by police. The motive for the attack is still under investigation. The tragedy highlights the need for gun reform, according to local politicians. Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville faced criticism for his recent remarks at the Southern Legislative Conference, including his views on climate change and pesticides causing autism. In a subsequent interview, Tuberville stumbled over the definition of white nationalists, leading to further scrutiny. This is not the first instance of Tuberville making controversial statements or facing questionable actions, as he has a history of gaffes, memory lapses, involvement in Ponzi schemes, and contradictory statements. North Korea fired an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, with a flight time of over 70 minutes, according to Japan's defense ministry. The launch comes after North Korea threatened to shoot down U.S. military aircraft engaged in hostile espionage. The missile landed in waters near Japan and signifies a potential new round of confrontation with Washington and its allies. This act coincides with heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula in discussions on North Korea's threat at the NATO summit. The former President Donald Trump suffered a legal setback as the U.S. government reversed its position stating that Trump could not claim immunity in the $10 million defamation lawsuit filed against him by writer E. Jean Carroll. The Department of Justice no longer believes Trump acted within the scope of his presidency when he denied raping Carroll. The change allows the trial to proceed as scheduled in January 2024. Trump's spokesperson criticized the move, calling it a politically motivated action by the Biden administration. A 26-year-old woman from Boulder, Colorado, tragically fell approximately 500 feet to her death while free solo climbing on Blitzen Ridge in Rocky Mountain National Park. Free soloing involves climbing without ropes or safety equipment. Her climbing partner, who reported the incident, was safely rescued. Search and rescue teams recovered the woman's body, and the cause of death will be determined by a medical examiner. This marks the second reported death in the park this month. Rolling Hills Estates city officials unanimously declared a local state of emergency as homes continue collapsing into a canyon. Evacuations have been ordered, with over 20 homes deemed unsafe. The cause of the massive rift remains unknown, but experts suspect water saturation from heavy rains may be a contributing factor. Displaced residents in the community are devastated by the destruction and potential loss of homes. President Joe Biden faces challenges regarding Ukraine's path to NATO membership at the NATO summit in Vilnius, Lithuania. Concerns from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and disagreements among NATO leaders complicate the issue. While the summit's final communique removes one barrier, concrete steps and timelines for Ukraine's membership remain unclear. Zelensky seeks more assurances from allied nations. Biden, emphasizing the end of Russia's war in Ukraine, reiterates that Ukraine is not yet ready for NATO membership.